The economic fallout from the pandemic is forcing millions of Americans to get help from food banks just for the first time. Yeah, the nonprofit Feeding America has seen a 60% increase in the need for food assistance since March. Vanessa Yurkovich reports. The journey to get food through the cold and COVID-19 has been long and hard for Regina's status. Got to take it one day at a time. And as long as you have for today, you save for tomorrow. When tomorrow get here, something's going to happen. And it did, just in time. Thank you. No problem. Days before Thanksgiving, Agatha House Foundation, a local food pantry in the Bronx, New York, made a special Thanksgiving delivery filled with everything she needs for her and her two teenage daughters. It's just a relief that I don't have to purchase all of that. Over 50 million Americans like Regina won't have enough to eat in 2020, in part because of the pandemic. Feeding America, the largest hunger relief group in the U.S., projects that 8 billion meals will be needed in the next year to feed food insecure Americans. About 40 percent of the people who right now are turning to food banks for help around the country are who people who never before relied upon the charitable food system. Onions. Regina is out of a job. Her car was totaled months ago and she's not receiving unemployment. She now relies on a once a week delivery from the food pantry. Day to day, is your pantry stocked or what does it look like day to day? You just survive it. That's all I can say. You just have to survive it. The 15th Congressional District here in the Bronx has the highest food insecurity rate among children in the country. At Agatha House, they're hoping to take the stigma out of needing a little extra help. We have to look in, and try to imagine ourselves in the position what we would want for ourselves, not just to give them a cardboard box, but to make them feel loved, special. This small operation says it's seen a 100% increase in need. Even with the little that they get, hopefully there's someone in their building or their, one of their neighbors that they can invite for a plate of food. Yes, gotta give Miss Mamie some stuff. Despite her struggles to put food on the table. You're welcome, Miss Mamie. Regina is sharing what she has with her neighbor and remains grateful for this Thanksgiving. Even if we didn't get the ag at the house or we was just having regular chicken every day, just to say that you was alive to eat it, that's a blessing in itself. Vanessa Yurkevich, CNN, Bronx, New York. As mentioned, Feeding America estimates more than 50 million U.S. households could be food insecure by the end of the year. That includes about 17 million children, or one in every four American kids.